First off, go to your app, Pix Art. Open up, click the plus at the bottom, and click Freestyle. Next, you're going to want to choose the photos that you want to make your collage with. So if you haven't done already, you're going to want to crop your image to exactly how you want. So you can see I just screenshotted this image, so I'm actually just going to slice it in half because I'm going to then put them back together. Once you've done your cropping, you're going to want to place the pictures over your square in a way that they're just slightly overlapping each other. You want to make sure that you expand the pictures to the right size too so that they're covering and there's no white square left. Once so that's done, you're going to click the erase button at the top. Next select the erase button at the top then on the erase button the corner tab so this is actually fairly easy to do you can see that I'm adjusting the opacity and the hardness so I like to go somewhere just below halfway and with the hardness being a little bit less as well you can see that I'm just lightly blending out um, and removing the picture from on top of the other picture now you see here I'm just adjusting the size of each as I want to make them just a little bit bigger. Now that I'm done adjusting, I'm going to go back into that erase option. Now you can see that I've adjusted the size. I made it a little smaller. I made the opacity um, less as well. And I increased the hardness and I'm just removing over top of the before lip. Depending on what you want to achieve, you can play with the opacity and the hardness levels kind of do a test run pass see what happens when you remove in an area and then further adjust from there then you can click save and the last step I like to do before I'm posting if I'm not doing any other photo editing fortunately this photo doesn't need any blemishes corrected or anything so we like to use watermark it's a free app and place our logo on the picture. And then save to your camera roll and it's ready to be posted. I hope you were able to learn from this tutorial how to blend your photos we will be adding more videos how to blend other photos such as brows, eyeliner, maybe even lashes.